Hi guys, this video is about troubleshooting your load order. And the reason I'm doing this is I get a lot of requests each week um, asking me to help with a broken game, a broken game of Skyrim, uh, where you start the game up and it immediately crashes. And I can tell you that in 99.99% of cases, it is a load order problem. Uh, it, it, it's always been like this, even in games like Fallout 3, Oblivion, and so on. But with Skyrim, it's even more likely to be that, because some of the other ways you get crash at startup are very, very unlikely with Skyrim. I may cover those in some other videos, but for this video, I'm going to be concentrating on your load order and ways in which you may well have broken it. And to show you what I mean, I'm going to break my game right now. I'm going to go along to my mods tab and I'm going to do the typical sort of thing that will get done. I'm going to go along to pure waters and I'm going to delete pure waters for no particular reason. Well, there is one reason, but it's not because the mod is not good. The mod is great, but perhaps you've got a mod installed and you've uninstalled it and you do that and then you go along to your game and you start it. And now my game's in windowed mode, as you can see at the moment. Don't worry about that. That's just how I run it. I run with fake full screen window mode. Boom, crashes. Let me just close that. Um, and that is what you get. And you get it in windowed mode and you will get it out, and out of windowed mode. You get no error message, nothing. It just simply shuts down. That is my load order. My load order has got a problem. Although I know what to look for, it could take me 10, 15 minutes to find it in my load order. I could actually spend 10 minutes. What you basically have to do is look at each ESP file and each ESM file and look at its masters and make sure they exist and are in the right place. It's a very time consuming process. There's a much, much easier way to do it. I'm going to start up test five edit. Now, if you don't know what that tool is, I've covered it in some previous videos. I will put a link down below. Installing it is very easy indeed. You're going to need that to do this troubleshooting and you should have it installed anyway. It's an invaluable tool just for this alone. So I'm gonna double click this now and it comes, comes up immediately with a master plugin selection list. And this is the this is the list of plugins I have got selected in my load order. As you can see, this one at the bottom I haven't got selected. This is fine. I'm going to leave it exactly as detected. Do not change anything. And I'm going to click OK. And it will start loading. And I just keep watching this until something goes wrong. And something will go wrong. There you go. An error occurred while loading modules. Editing is disabled. Check the message log and correct the error. Go straight to the bottom where it says background loader finished and just keep working your way up and you will almost immediately see background loader purewaters.esp loading file was the last line before this error. And in fact, this entire section here is what I'm looking for. You see, what it does is it loads each of the ESPs as it goes along and fills in some details. When it gets to the R&D Pure Waters Patch ESP, this is for realistic needs and diseases. It is a compatibility patch between realistic needs and diseases and pure waters. And this patch has the following masters. Skyrim ESM, Skyrim uh, Update ESM, Dawnguard ESM, Dragonborn ESM, and Pure Waters ESP. So there's the culprit. Very, very quickly, I can go back to my Nexus Mod Manager and find the R&D Pure Waters patch. That is my problem. I do not need this. I can either uninstall it, which is what I would probably do, or in this case, I could just simply deactivate it and once again, start Skyrim. And this time, Skyrim should work perfectly. And there you have it. 
no problem whatsoever. I've now got the menu. Let's quit. Now, for about 70% of the requests for help I get, I have found the problem has been Skyree, specifically the reprocker.esp file. Um, this, as you can see for me, this ESP has a lot of masters and therefore it is it is one of the reasons you need to rerun the reprocker every time you uninstall or install a mod. It is the downside of using Skyree with the reprocker. I mean, the, the, the upside is it will always have a compatibility patch for all of your mods, which is great, but every time you install a mod or uninstall one, you need to rerun this. Uh, so for example, I will show you what will happen if I uninstall, it is the Mage's Backpack. There we go, Mage Backpack. If I uninstall that, that is one of the files needed by reprocker.esp. And so of course now if I start SKSE, if I start Skyrim, it will start booting the game up. And before it gets to the main menu, it will crash. There you go. Absolutely predictable. So if I was to uninstall the Mage Backpack by Tumba Jala, <laughs> um, what I need to do is remember to go along to my Skyrim data folder, go along to the Skyproc patches and rerun the reprocker.jar to, to force it to make a new reprocker. ESP. It's pretty much as simple as that. And that is really all there is to it. Um, run test 5 edit, see where it fails, and then usually 99% of the time it's pretty obvious what you've got to do. You've probably either got to regenerate the reprocker file, remove a compatibility, or re-add a mod that you accidentally deleted. And to end this video, I will just try to preempt one question I know I will get, and that is, can you do this without test 5 edit? Because either A, for some reason that tool doesn't work for you, or B, you just refuse to use tools like that. I, I have no idea why, but I do know there will probably be one or two people who just, for some reason, are dead set against using such tools, and they will still need help and fixing their load order. Yes, you can do the same thing, but what you have to do is open up the plugin section on Nexus Mod Manager and go through each one and check that the master files, which you can see listed here, are in your load order. The more of these you have, the bigger the job. Obviously, these are the official ones, so that they'll probably be fine, but you're going to have to check each and every one of these if they've got a master, for example, this one has a master, do you have all three of those? And are they selected? And keep going. Um, some of them have only a few masters. Some of them have a lot more. You need to check each one until you find the one that's failing. And usually it loads, well, it does load them in the order they come here. So you just work your way down the list. It will take you some time, I'm afraid. But that's the only alternative to using Test5 Edit. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope it was helpful.